Good morning. My name is Eugene. What prophecy? 25 December 2018, prophet says that I see a border conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia. I pray that Jesus will pray. Amen. The scene in Genja, barely 24 hours since a ceasefire was agreed between Armenia and Azerbaijan's armed forces. Devastation, despair, and body bags. <laughs> Relatives grieve for their dead. Tears and destruction appears to be all that is left for many Azeris in Genja, as more bodies are pulled from the debris. The pain of losing their children and other relatives is accompanied with anger. They say they've already suffered enough in 30 years of this conflict. We'll destroy them. We don't want a ceasefire. They killed our children. Genja has been hit by several missile strikes in the past week, but this one was particularly destructive. Neighbors say there are other civilians under the rubble. One already has been found and taken out from here. Civil defense units are clearing the area of journalists for safety and to avoid any close-up pictures of the possible bodies. Genja residents blame Armenia for their suffering. This family lives a few meters from where the missile hit. Ainura Aliyeva says with her brother's help, they barely managed to rescue her children who were about to suffocate under the rubble. Her mother, Amelia, was the last one to get out, severely injured. <laughs> Nagorno-Karabakh is also suffering. Its main city, Stepankert, was again under heavy fire overnight, but authorities say it's been calmer on Sunday. And they report 429 ethnic Armenian soldiers have been killed in the fighting so far. Yet another one was buried by his family in tears. <laughs> Azerbaijan hasn't disclosed how many of its troops have been killed. The Nagorno-Karabakh uh, government, the president, have, you have absolutely unequivocally supported the ceasefire. This is a very important function for the very minimum to, you know, to do the humanitarian function of this. There are many serious humanitarian issues that have to be resolved immediately. The ceasefire was brokered by the Kremlin just two days ago. It was expected to provide an opportunity to exchange dead and injured soldiers as well as prisoners. The International Red Cross says the prisoner swap scheduled for Saturday never happened. We were uh, actually in regular discussions with the sides about the nature of our involvement. However, for now, the date for the operation to begin is in the hands of the sides. And uh, the uh, International Committee of the Red Cross stands ready to facilitate the, and support the sides in their obligation, humanitarian obligation, to uh, release the detainees. The latest fighting between Azerbaijan and Armenian forces began two weeks ago. Hundreds of people have been killed since then in the worst escalation since the separatist war in Nagorno-Karabakh ended in 1994. The region belongs to Azerbaijan but is controlled by ethnic Armenian forces backed by Armenia's government. During fighting in the past, many lost trust in ceasefires. The latest hasn't got off to a hopeful start. Sinem Kusolo, Al Jazeera, Ganja, Azerbaijan.